Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Brulard again here to share with you a special book that we have for our character word gratitude. So I'm showing you up here on my screen what gratitude means. Gratitude means feeling thankful and sharing that feeling with others. Let me share with you my book called Gratitude Soup. Okay, here's the front cover. It's called Gratitude Soup and the author is Olivia Rosewood. Hi, I'm Violet, the purple fairy, and this is my story of gratitude and how it changed my feelings inside and my attitude. You see, usually I was ready to be silly, easily, reasily, ready to be willy-nilly. Giggles, funning, smiles, bouncing, jumping, running, happiness could flow, you know, from my head to my toes. Except that sometimes I caught a case of the gimme, gimme, want, wants. I became a cranky one, almost undone and not much fun. And on my face, not a trace of that happier space. I screamed on the inside, I need more toys. I screamed to the outside, I need more toys. But mommy and daddy didn't give me toys. When I lost my poise and made all that noise. So I yelled louder, I want more. But still no toys. What a bore. My parents knew in their core, I didn't need more. But their poor girl, they couldn't just ignore. Mommy said sweetly, it's not toys that you need. Indeed, there's something better. It's your soul will feed. I know just where to start. We'll make gratitude soup in your heart. I know how and we can make some right now. Here's how you do it. There's nearly nothing to it. All you need is not a lot, an imaginary spoon and a pot. That I've got. And then search your mind, rewind, see if you can find all that you love and like, like riding a bike, and all that you enjoy and appreciate, like ice cream cake. I, Violet the Purple Fairy, love to cook, and I know just where to look to make a perfect gratitude soup. It's so fun. I like to start it with a whoopity whoop. My gratitude list has become so long. I turn it into a song. Feel free to sing along. I'm grateful for my toes. I am grateful for my nose. I am grateful for my grandma Rose. I am grateful for the light of the sun and the light of the moon, for delicious lunch at noon and singing a snappy tune, my favorite cartoon and a purple balloon. I am grateful for my cozy bed, my smart head and all the books I read. I am grateful for warm sourdough bread. I'm grateful for snuggles, hugs and ladybugs, playing pretend with my friends, my dolls, playing ball, and getting tall. I am grateful for my friends and fun. And when I get to run, 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 I am grateful for my cinnamon bun and the prize that I won. I am grateful for watching the waves at the beach and biting into delicious, ripe, sweet peach. I am grateful for sitting under a tree. Under a tree is a perfect place to just be and feel free. I am grateful for the sunset and the sunrise, rainbows and blue skies. One by one, I put them in the pot. My, my, I can think of a lot. The more I find I have gratitude for, the more I find I have to adore. So I search myself to my core and I find I am grateful for even more. I am grateful for playing in the park and a bright light when it's dark. I'm grateful for going to school and trying on fancy princess jewels. When the sun is hot and the water's cool, I am grateful to go in a swimming pool. The more I think about my gratitude, the happier and happier is my attitude. 
Changing my focus is like hocus pocus. My heart lightens, my feeling brightens. Thoughts of gratitude keep on coming through. So I keep singing and cooking. What can I do? Wouldn't you? I can tell I'm not through when my happiness grows and grows and the joy in my smile shows. I have even more gratitude ready for cooking. Gratitude can show up when you're not even looking. I am grateful for making arts and crafts and visiting friendly giraffes for sweet rolls and the North Pole. I am grateful for the way dancing feels in my soul. Strawberries in a bowl and in the sand digging a hole. Now this is the serious part. It's so serious. I almost don't know where to start. Feel all of your gratitude alive in your heart, flowing and growing, knowing the beauty of gratitude is art. Then watch the swirl and whirl, the curls unfurl as you stir all that you're grateful for, all that you adore, your gratitude growing more and more. Can you feel your heart soar? You can add some love in there and even tender loving care if you're aware that you have some to spare. Concentrate a lot. You can do it with your thought. Yes, give it all you've got and shrink the imaginary pot so that in your heart it fits and there it sits as goodness gets. With your love, keep it warm. Live every eve and every morn. You can sip gratitude soup all day and you can sip gratitude soup all night. Gratitude makes the best soup. I say, filling me with love and light. And it's just right there, ready to share, ready to care. In my heart, ready to exude and feed my soul with gratitude. And that's how I, the Violet Purple Fairy, became Violet the Purple Gratitude Fairy. Gratitude soup helps me love even more. All the experiences I already adore. Try some yourself and see what it's for. You can make it any time, any day. It's not hard work, it's more like play. Start cooking, okay? What do you say? Feed your soul with gratitude and you too will say, yay, hip hip, hooray. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that book called Gratitude Soup. Enjoy all the fun activities your teacher will have for you about gratitude. Thanks, guys.